Hi, in this video tutorial we will uh, go over one of your programming assignments that is going to be dealing with data structures in Lisp. As we have been discussed, the main way of working with data structures in Lisp is by using a list. Like for example, a list is a, a structure and in this case we want to design a structure that will be appropriate to store a binary search tree. A binary search tree, we got nodes and they have a left child and a right, ha right child, in case that you don't remember. And the idea that we store information there is the elements to the right of the, to the right, I mean, in the, in the right side of each node has to be greater than the element itself. So, for example, in this case, 13 is greater than 9. And the elements to the left needs to be less. So... Uh, 5 is less than 9. Now, you see for this node, 5 has also a left and a right child, child children. So we have a left and a, and a right, and the right you see is greater than 5, which is 7, and to the left is less than 5, which is 3. And then here, we got another element, which is 10, and then um, it's less than 13, but it's greater than 10, 9, and 8 is greater than 7. Now, if and this is in and, and this is a data structure that uh, you study in, and data structures and algorithm, and then maybe one of the purpose that we can order numbers. So then, um, let's say that we want to insert the twenty. So we come here. That will be the root, and then we check is twenty greater or less than nine is greater. Then we go this side, and then greater than thirteen. Yes. There is nil here, so this is the place that we will insert. Okay, so then let's say that to define this structure in Lisp, since we have to use a list, we say there is always a list with three elements, which the first element is the root of the node, so this is a node, uh, or, and then it has a left and a right, a left child and a right child. Then um, this is what we say, this is the non-empty, and when something is empty, like in this case, we just want to say that it's nil. Okay, so this will be my general structure. Now, if I talk about these three, again, is E, left, and right. So my E is nine, so it has to be a list with three elements, one, two, three. So the left is all of this, which is also a binary search tree. So this from here to here must be my second element and my right is this okay so let's check now the uh, left so the left children of this binary search tree has a five and it should have a left and a right so the left has a three and the left and right are nil and nil so these are empty and the right has a 7 and the left of the 7 is a nil and the right of the 7 is an, another tree that has a nil and nil okay so this is my whole L structure of this which you see this is recursive because then inside each one of the structures is also a binary search tree by itself so here is 13 so 13 and then the left of 13 we got the 10 nil nil and the right of 13 we got the nil Okay, so this is the idea of my binary search tree. Now, again, this is nothing that is a standard. It's something that I'm deciding that I said, oh, maybe this is the way that I'm going to store a binary search tree. This is the way that I'm going to interpret. And again, this is just a list. Okay, now we want to write two functions. One that will create or um, insert elements into binary search tree. And one that is going to give me the depth of the tree. So let's go with the first one, that is the insert. So in this case, we want to write a list function to insert an element to a binary search tree. Um, and, and this is an example. So I'm calling this function insert BST, there is no spaces, and I want to insert four into this binary search tree. So you know this will be a tree that has a 9, nil, and nil. This is my tree. So I need two parameters, a tree and the element. 
So I can use this to create actually a tree because it can start with nil and then insert the four and then save this uh, statement because this returns this structure. You see I'm inserting the four. So the four is less than the nine. So this will be the answer. So I will have a four right here with a nil and a nil. So that's what the insert is doing. And um, if I want to use these, maybe what I, we should do is add a, something like a, before we do that, like a set Q, and then let's say that this is M U three, and then whatever is the answer from that other insert statement, right? So if I'm just testing my insert function, this is enough. If I want to assign this to a variable, I can do the set Q M. And then that M will point to this structure. And then later I want to add something else to M. I can say insert now, I don't know, seven. And then I put the M instead of this structure, right? So let's see how that works. So we define the function here. And the parameters is the element and the tree. And let's check on the conditions. First condition, I have an empty tree. If that's the case, we create a list contains that element and nail it in. So basically what we're doing, what we will be doing is traversing the tree and looking for the right place to insert this new node, which is gonna be an element with an E and an L, right? Like we did here. So in this case, we insert it to the left of that of the tree. In this case, let's see the first condition. Is that element that we want to insert the card of the tree, that means it's already in the tree. If, if it is, then leave the tree like it is because in a binary search tree in our case we don't have duplicates so this is to avoid to insert an element that is already in the tree now we got added two main conditions one of those is what about if the element that i want to insert is less than the element on here so if this element is less than we need to insert i mean like in this case the four less than nine we need to set to the left right so in that case we're creating a tree in which we maintain you see the nine but we're going to modify the left side of the tree and we're keeping the right side as it is we're not modifying so that's what what we say we're creating a list that has one two three elements the root doesn't change the right is not changing we're modifying the left with this recursion because now we're going to insert that element in here which is this is the expression to get into the left subtree of that tree that was given as a parameter okay the other possible case if it's not in there if it's not less then it has to be greater or equal and it's going to be inserted to the right i mean not equal because equal will eliminate is greater so in this case we still leave the root at itself but not changing the left but we are modifying the right so on the right we're going to insert the value in the appropriate place right and that's how we will do the the insert okay so this function is uh complete so the other function that we want to do is the one that says the write a list function to find the depth of a binary search tree so in this case the depth is this is will be one and two so the depth of this tree will be two okay so we go like what will be the longest step on this so for that we got this formula here so the depth of the entry tree is zero so that means the needs is zero and the depth of a non-entry so non-empty we got the root the right and left so it's going to be one for that e plus whatever is the max of the depth of either the L, the, I mean the N or the L, okay? So then what I want you to do is work on a function that will give me this. And the max, you can use the built-in function max or we can create my max, which will be simple, doing X and Y. And if X is greater than Y, then return X, otherwise return Y. 